Hello, it's Ruby, and today it is Saturday. Um, I always seem to film on weekends. I feel like the week goes so quickly, and then suddenly I realise I wanted to vlog that week, and it's the weekend. So, um, I'm sorry for another weekend vlog. I only have classes on Thursday and Friday this term, so it's not even like there's a good reason for me not filming Monday through Friday, but... Either way, it's Saturday today and um, I do have quite a bit of work to do. I've got two essays due at the end of this term in week 10, which is actually quite a while away now I'm thinking about it, but I want to be on top of them and I'm really stressed about one of the essays because it just won't fit right, like I'm trying to structure it and it's, it's just not convincing me at the moment. My argument isn't convincing me and the most important thing when you write an essay is obviously to be convincing, like you're trying to kind of show something and show something different um but also not too ambitious it's just it's a hard balance to toe uh, i'm saying that but equally the advice that i would give to somebody else would be you've still got plenty of time like the more work you do the more familiar you get the more like certain your essay is going to be and the more assured it's going to be um that's the advice that i would give so i'm going to try and give that to myself that can be a really useful exercise actually and I sometimes try and practice it even though it feels quite weird. Um, like think about the advice that you would give to somebody else if they came to you with your problem and then try and listen to your own advice. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go out and get coffee. I'm wearing a turtleneck and then this new coat which I got from Vinted and I'm obsessed with it. I haven't been home this time yet. My family's going to the Wes Anderson exhibition tomorrow. I'm going to meet them in London, but then I was thinking about it and like, I haven't seen them in a while and I would quite like to see them. Okay, let's grab a book. I'm going to bring this one. I probably won't read it, to be honest. I'm currently reading liter uh, English for you, but it's quite a, a hefty book. So I don't know if I want to bring it with me to the library. I'm going to do in my room is some research into the printer of the book I'm looking at. I'm looking at catechisms for this essay just for reference because everything I'm doing today is related to catechisms. So I'm going to look into the printer and the author and see what else they printed, what else they wrote, and that should help to give me a better sense of like the literary network that they are communicating within. currently reading an essay on catechisms and grace and then I'm gonna head to the library all right it's what's that I was like what is that orange thing it's tangerines it's 11 30 and I'm finally gonna head out to the library I'm also really hoping that I get a spot because it's week five and there are lots of essays due around this time of the term, so I feel like the libraries pack, get packed so, so quickly. I'm going to do a quick meditation. I'm, one thing I'm really mindful of is keeping my mental health in a good state as deadlines creep in and as things get more stressful, because as I say, I've got two 6,000 word essays due, which is quite a lot. It feels like a lot, and both of them obviously count towards my final grade, and... So I'm just, I'm, I'm, I am starting to feel like kind of feel the nerves about these. I'm trying to do meditation as like a precautionary measure. Um, one of many precautionary measures to make sure that I keep my mental health in a good space. Um, and I'm going to show you a few other things that I'm doing to look after my mental health on 
when term gets stressful, like daily habits that I do, which are really easy. Um, and I'll show those throughout the video. Um, but right now I'm going to do a meditation and I'm gonna do it with Headspace. Headspace is sponsoring this video as well. Here it is, it's just under <laughs> heads up. Um, so Headspace basically has all of these guided meditations and, and there are so many to choose from and you can also filter and search them depending on what you're looking for. So so right now, just to ground myself and um, like make sure that I have a focused study session for the rest of the day, I'm gonna do th this one, which is breathe away distractions. Historically, when it gets to stressful periods in the academic term, I know that I do get very overwhelmed and I never really see it coming. So I'm trying to take preventative steps to stop that from happening. I'm, what I'm hoping is if I'm more mindful of it beforehand, I'll avoid getting really stressed and overwhelmed when the actual kind of when everything's suddenly there. So I'm gonna do this quick five minute meditation now and then I'm gonna head to the library. Um, if you do want to try out Headspace, then you can get 60 days for free if you click on the link in the description box or if you scan this QR code. I feel like this is a good time to like try Headspace. If you're a student in the UK and you're kind of coming to this like crunch period of deadlines and essays and lots being due that will be in the description box if you want to give it a go and you've been meaning to try out meditation more um but i'm going to do this very quickly and then head to the library because i'm really behind on my to-do list I ended up spending so much longer on my tasks this morning than i meant to but hopefully this will breathe away the distractions for me um i am going to put on headphones though i always like doing meditations with headphones Okay, so I'm gonna pack my tote bag. I'm bringing the pumpkin one today and I put a sugar packet at the bottom. So I'm bringing my iPad. I'm also gonna read this book while I'm there. If I have time, I want to take notes on this book, so I think I'm gonna bring it. No, realistically, I don't think I'll get around to doing that while I'm at the library, so I'm not gonna bring that. I'm gonna bring a pen. I always try to bring my reusable coffee cup. Oh, and I'll bring a notebook as well. Always good to bring a notebook. I'm also obsessed with this coat. I only just got it. When I say I've been looking for a coat like this for actively for about two years because I have a navy coat with a similar style which I got when I was like 16 and I love this coat but it's really young for me um like it's a kid's coat and it definitely looks like a kid's coat and I've been looking for a coat which like just looks a bit older and this is one that I hope I will now have forever um I got it on Vinted as well Vinted is definitely the best place to find clothes so slight change of plan here. I said that I was going to go to a library, but I ended up going and sitting outside and reading that Tiffany Stern book on documents of performance. I realized that all I was going to be doing was reading from this book and that I could very feasibly do that outside. And it was such an unseasonably warm day. Like it did not feel like February. It felt more like April and it was so lovely just to sit outside. I ended up going outside to read. Now I'm just having some lunch. I also went for Mexican food with my friend yesterday and I had some leftover tortilla chips. So I'm gonna finish those. A catechism is a type of document which is used in Christianity to teach children about Christian doctrine. And um, they've been traditionally used in Catholicism but I'm looking at early modern Protestant catechisms for this essay. So my train's in about an hour. It doesn't take that long to get to the station from the central, so I might pop to the library and do a tiny bit of work before heading off. Which were thought to be milk for babes, that's what they were called, and necessary for understanding sermons properly in adulthood. So they were like the crux and the basis of Christian education.
Mental health can decline without you even realizing it. We're in our heads all of the time, never anywhere else, and it can be difficult to see when that environment starts to change, especially when it happens gradually. It's not easy always to notice the ripples in the ponds and new ridges in the sand that the mist is thickening and that the winds have been picking up. It's easy not to see your mental health is worsening until it's a little too late. So taking preventative measures can be really important. This morning I showed journaling, which I like to do every morning, and I only tell myself to write a page, so there's no pressure and it doesn't require long lengths of time. It's something I can manageably do every single day. But I journal because it's a way to rationalize thoughts. I try and write what I did the day before because that's nice to look back on, but also and more importantly, I write a few sentences about the thing which is most worrying me so that I can write it out and make sense of it. When we put worries into words, they can sometimes feel a bit more manageable. Another key thing is making time for people, seeing friends, seeing family, connecting with people and letting yourself feel grounded in these relationships. Of course, first thing, we are going to go on a walk. I have been craving this walk. Mum, so much. Yeah, I thought it would be. It was like, literally, I woke up this morning and I was like, I'm going on a walk today. I thought, should I go for a walk? What's wrong with No, we don't want to go on walk too. Yeah. As soon as you get to My co-star said, a yes to kombucha. So first thing I'd done when I got home was get a kombucha. My co-star also said a yes to takeaways. And when I got back, my mum was like, oh, do you fancy getting an Indian takeaway tonight? Co-star knew. As I say, I'm going home this weekend and it did precisely this. I've spoken before about that stigma about going home during term time and you'll notice that I even fell into this stigma trap slightly because in this video I felt I had to justify going back and it's quite funny me looking back on the footage. I have had such a crazy evening so far and I did, as you can see, I brought back my computer and my iPad because I knew that I did have some studying I needed to do so that's what I've been doing for the last half an hour and I'll do for maybe another hour-ish. Honestly, it's really nice to be at home. I feel very relaxed. Um, what was I gonna say? There was something specific. Oh, I put you on top of the thing I was gonna show you. <laughs> I'll move. So, look, I bought this candle, which is Oxford Library scented, and it's actually really old. Um, I never really used to burn it because I didn't want to use it up. It's little things like this when I think how excited I was to receive this when I was 15 and the fact that I am now st studying in Oxford I mean I kind of have these moments where I suddenly just can't believe it all over again and I don't know if I'll ever quite get to the stage where I feel like totally like it's actually happening it is also nice to be able to burn a candle because obviously in, I'm in like university owned accommodation so you're not allowed to use candles and I mean, I get it. I know that there are fire safety risks, but also, it does make me sad. Nobody has to justify that. Nobody has to explain it. It's okay for you to go home if you need to, or even if you just want to. We don't have to make excuses for that, even though it feels like we do. Lulu. I'm breezy. Sorry. <laughs> I'm breezy. So then in the evening, as I say, we had an Indian takeaway and we also watched The Simpsons. I just love The Simpsons so much. My sister and I grew up watching it. I'm at home and I'm really happy to be at home, honestly. I'm just gonna make myself a coffee now and I'm gonna use the Chamberlain coffee. 
this. I think this is one that's already ground. No, this is coffee beans. This one, it's really good. It's so tasty. It's milk chocolate, almond, and black cherry. I'm going to make some frozen yogurt using this winter creaming machine. Um, so I had this in the freezer already, it's just yogurt. It's really dark as well, sorry. The Ninja Creamy is basically an ice cream machine, um, but I have turned off the audio because, oh my goodness, it is so loud. But I just mixed up some frozen yogurt with banana and a little bit of golden syrup for sweetness. Okay, so this is the frozen yogurt. Oh. So this is like a banoffee flavored one. It's banana and yogurt. And I'm gonna add some of the cheeky nibble granola. This granola is so good. Like, I wanted to try it for years. And then when Blakey and I were in London, we found out that Selfridge just did it, so we both bought one. And I might also add, I added some of this. So I did wake up early this morning. Um, I like early mornings because you can carve out time, which is totally pressure free. And there's a quietness, a stillness, a newness to mornings. Carving out space without pressure is honestly essential, especially when things get busy, especially when deadlines pile up, when there's so much on and your mind is getting really cluttered. This doesn't have to be in the morning, but scheduling time for leisure and rest, seeing people can be valuable, like actually putting it into your calendar because having it in your calendar, pre-accounting for it, can stop you from feeling guilty when you then take that time off. And of course you never should feel guilty for resting, but I know that we still absolutely do. It's 11 o'clock, no 11.20, and I've just been working on an essay plan. And I've been really stressed about this one because I didn't know what I was, like what direction to take it in. And everything I tried just wasn't working. Um, I wasn't finding it convincing myself and obviously you have to be convinced by your own essay. Managed, well, I'm starting to formulate it into something I'm happy with, which I'm really excited about. Um, so it's bullet pointed at the moment, but I'm gonna turn it into three abstracts per chapter, which I can then send to my tutor because I'm meeting with him next week. Um, and I just feel like that will be useful so that I can give a sense of where my argument's going, um, and get his feedback on whether like the evidence I'm using is actually convincing from what I'm trying to argue, because um, that's important. But I'm going to go on a walk because I'm really excited to go on a walk, and as I say, one of my favourite things about coming home. So I'm going to go out now, and yeah, that's easy. It's also been raining. It's stopped now, which is quite sad because I really like the rain. Getting outside, walking, moving is another great thing for your mental health. Walking is one of the best ways to reground yourself and find perspective. There's a great quote from the third Anne of Green Gables book actually, which I think encapsulates it perfectly. She says, It was November, the month of crimson sunsets, parting birds, deep sad hymns of the sea, passionate wind songs in the pines. Anne roamed through the pineland alleys in the park, and as she said, let that great sweeping wind blow the fogs out of her soul. Thank you. Mum, where are we off to? We're off to the accidentally Wes Anderson exhibition. What? Yeah, I'm just writing up some notes on chapter three of this book because I meant to do that this morning and I just didn't. Um, and then that will be out of the way so that we can enjoy the exhibition.
It's because I... Oh. As soon as you walk in, there is this little post box, mechanical post box, and you can send a digital postcard to somebody. So after the exhibition we went for dinner at Tombo, which is a sushi restaurant and um, I actually showed it in my last London video. It's really nice here, I got the poke bowl. And yes, that brings me to the end of the weekend. I went back to Oxford this evening but it was just so lovely to be away for even a short while. I love Oxford so much but it's that point of the time when it is getting intense and so spending time with my family was a great way to just find perspective. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you have more than just a productive week.